Welcome to GDs, and this is, Snowfall, Season 6. Season starts, with Franklin, letting Veronique know, that he robbed Louis and Jerome, and he wants her help, in order to wash and deposit the cash he stole, so that they could pay the installment for their downtown investment. Veronique, wanted him to return what he stole, but Franklin, was not willing to give up what he built. Thus, he pushes her to do the needful, and Veronique, decides to help him clean his cash, by going to Miami, and using one of her mom's old contact. Franklin, also asks Top Notch, to find Peaches. In addition, he wants him to confirm the location of Teddy's father, and his ex-wife and son. He then goes to Big D, who has taken over after Leon left, and offers to sell him the product at a discounted price. Big D, getting the discounted price, agrees to buy from him. Meanwhile, Jerome is quite angry with his nephew, knowing that he robbed them. He also gets to know from Big D, about the deal he made. Big D, despite getting to know that Franklin stole from his uncle, was still willing to buy from him, because of the discount. But he gave up the time and location for the exchange to Jerome. Jerome, asks Franklin to return what he stole, but Franklin refuses to do so, and getting to know from Louis, that he pulled a gun on her, his anger against Franklin grew, and he goes after Dallas and Black Diamond, as they were returning after dropping off the product. He asks them where Franklin hid his money, but they didn't know the location of Franklin's new safe house, and an enraged Jerome, beats Black Diamond to death. He then takes the money they had, and tells Dallas to inform Franklin, that he will not stop until he gets every penny back. Louis, having pending orders to fulfill, asks Teddy to provide her with a shipment on consignment, and she tells him, that they were robbed by Franklin. He agrees to do so, and was quite surprised, knowing that Franklin robbed his own family. We also see him quite worried about Parissa, not knowing who took her. And in order to get help, he goes to Avi's place, feeling that the one who killed Avi, might be responsible for Parissa's kidnapping. But the man who took over for Avi, was not willing to continue their business with Teddy, and they end their ties with him. Teddy informs Havemeyer of everything, and Havemeyer lets him know, that the agency may accept him back for the generous donation he offered, but first, he has to tie up loose ends in his operation. Teddy, is later able to find Parissa in a police station, and we learn in a flashback, that she was able to get away before Ruben could grab her. And later, she was found by a policeman, who locked her up. Parissa, was able to help Teddy, by describing Ruben to a sketch artist, and now Teddy knows, whom he is looking for. Gustavo, also returns home, and tells Ziamara, that they cannot leave for now, and it was not Teddy who was listening to them. We then find out, that it was DEA, who bugged his house, and Agent Tony Marino, leveraging his family, turned him into his informant. Gustavo, shows them the tunnel, from where they bring in the product, and the DEA, were quite astonished seeing the tunnel. Meanwhile, Ruben pushes Sissy, to arrange a meeting with Franklin, and she is able to get them to meet at a museum. Franklin tells Ruben everything, and in return, he wants him to provide him Teddy. While Teddy, shows Gustavo the sketch of Ruben, and asks him, if he has seen him. But Gustavo denies knowing him. He later remembers Ruben, being present at Louis's wedding. Thus, he asks Franklin about him. And Franklin lets him know, that he should stay clear of him. He instead offers to pay Gustavo, if he can deliver Teddy to him. Later, he learns from Dallas, that she is now retired, as she made a pact with Black Diamond, that if anything happens to any one of them, the remaining will get out of the game, and take care of the children. We also get to see Franklin, informing a recovering Kane, that it was Louis who came after him, and he agrees to help him go after her. Veronique, also returns from Miami after depositing the cash. She tells Franklin, that she approached her mother, in order to help them get their money back, and she has agreed to help them. Franklin though not fond of her, agrees to meet with her, as Veronique wanted him to do so. As he meets with Cassandra, she lets him know, that she knows how and where to look for his money, and she might get it back. But in return, she wants a finder fee, and an opportunity to be in her daughter's life, and Franklin agrees to her terms. While Sissy, in order to make peace between his brother and son, is able to get them to sit down to talk. But tensions flare up as they talk, and Jerome, hits Franklin as he insults Louis, which causes Franklin to pull a gun on him. Franklin leaves, not willing to kill his uncle, and their differences remained unresolved. On the other hand, Ruben's handler informs him, that the KGB is getting their Sandinista contacts, to intercept Avi's last gun shipment which he sent for Teddy. Ruben warns him not to do so, as he will be accepting the same to be hit, and will be prepared. But he learns that the order was already given. 
As the gun shipment is hit, we find, that Teddy was prepared for the same to happen, and with the help of mercenaries, he was able to eliminate all of them. On his way back, Teddy goes through the belongings of those who attacked the shipment. And he finds a note in Russian hidden amongst their belongings. And he is able to deduce, that it's the KGB who is attacking their operation. We also get to see Leon, spending quality time with Wanda in Ghana. Being there, he learns about the history of Africans, on how they used to sell their own as slaves. Hearing the same, he feels guilty, of selling drugs in his community. Leon, in order to make things right, wants to return back, but Wanda wants him to stay, as she knows that there is nothing for her back. Leon, in order to make her feel secure about them, asks her to marry him, and they get married in Ghana. As they return, Leon learns about Franklin, stealing from Louis and Jerome, and how a war has started, between them and Kane, and they keep hitting each other. Leon, in order to make peace, goes to Louis and Jerome, but they ignore him. He then goes to meet Franklin, and he lets him know, that there is no chance of peace, and he tells him, that he should either pick a side, or return back to Ghana with Wanda. Leon, seeing his community in shambles, since Big D took over, is also quite disappointed. He tries to get things fixed, but Big D opposed any changes. This leads to a fight between them, and Leon was able to have an upper hand. With Big D being defeated, his crew wants Leon to take over, as if anyone else takes over, things will only go down. Thus Leon, takes back his position as the leader of his crew. Wanda also tries to amend her mistakes, and she starts to help out Sissy at the home shelter which Alton managed. We also get to see Franklin along with Veronique, visiting their downtown project, in which they are heavily invested, as it breaks ground. He later sits down with Cassandra, who informs him, that she located the man who moved his money, and they will be getting all the documents from him tomorrow. Next day, as Cassandra distracts Cox, Veronique was able to make his secretary, provide her with the documents from his safe, by bluffing to be from the government. Having the documents, Cassandra, informs Franklin, that they have located his money, but they won't be able to get it back, as Cox already transferred it to an account held by Teddy, and thus, only Teddy now has access to it. Hearing this, Franklin loses his temper. Later, Veronique lets him know, that he was out of the way talking with her mother like that. But in spite of that, she has agreed to help them further. Meanwhile Reuben, gets to know from his handler, that their people were hit, and now they want to move quickly. Reuben lets his handler know, that they will only have one shot, to catch Teddy and his boss with the products at the warehouse. Thus, he wants to make sure they get it right. And in order to do so, he starts keeping an eye on Gustavo. And in the process, he finds Gustavo meeting with the DEA. While Teddy, now knowing that it is the KGB who is after his operation, is not sure whom he can trust. And in order to know Gustavo's loyalty, he follows him. As Teddy follows Gustavo, he finds him meeting with Ruben, but in fact it was the first time Ruben approached him. Ruben asks for Gustavo's help, in order to get evidence that proves, that the CIA is selling drugs to their own people, and in exchange, he can provide him anything he wants. He also lets him know, that he has no choice in the matter, as he knows that he has been working for the DEA. As Reuben leaves, Teddy follows him, and was able to locate where he lives. Teddy, breaks into his house when he was not there, and he finds hidden material in his room, which proves that he is inclined towards men. While the DEA, was also getting ready to raid the warehouse, and catch Teddy with drugs. Gustavo, informs Ziamara, that it was the DEA who had been listening to them, and he is working for them now. He tells her, that after the DEA arrest Teddy, they can go into witness protection, but Ziamara, is not so sure about it. As it is the CIA they are going after. Gustavo lets her know, that her other option is to run away, but having no money, this was also not a possibility for her. Teddy, seeing Gustavo talk with Ruben, was sure that he flipped on him, and was ready to take him out. But before he could, Gustavo informs him about his meeting with Ruben, and it make Teddy realize that he is not the one who talked. Teddy lets him know that he need not worry, as he moved the products away from the warehouse. Meanwhile, Franklin and Kane, are attacked by men sent by Louis, but they survive, and Kane now being even more pissed, wants Franklin to give them up. Franklin, lets Kane know, that the only place he can get to them is at a ranch, where they like to ride. He later goes to Kansas City, where Cassandra, along with Veronique, were able to lure Teddy's father out of the nursing home. Franklin calls Teddy, and asks him to return the money he stole, but Teddy refuses to do so. And an enraged Franklin, 
kills his father and makes him listen to it. He then lets him know, that he knows about Julia and their son, and they will be next, if he doesn't return his money. He then burns the house down and drives away. Cassandra, seeing this side of Franklin, is afraid for her daughter, and begs her to leave, and to come with her. But Veronique, refuses to do so, as Franklin has always treated her right. He later tells Veronique and his mother, that now Teddy will also look for him, thereby giving him a better chance to get to him. Teddy calls Julia, and asks her to move, and warns her about Franklin. He later goes to Reuben, and tells him, that he knows about his sexuality, and offers him the chance to leave the KGB. In addition, he makes it clear to him, that he will kill him, if he continues to interfere with the CIA. Teddy, being upset about the death of his father, and knowing that the CIA won't accept him back, till he ties up the loose ends, contemplates the idea of taking the money and fleeing with Parissa. Parissa, assures him, that if he decides to do so, he can still have a lot of power, with the amount of money he has. While Gustavo, informs the DEA, that they cannot raid now, as Teddy has moved the products. Tony, getting to know this is quite upset, and he lets Gustavo know, that if they will not get Teddy, he will send him to prison. Gustavo feeling cornered, goes to Franklin, and he agrees to give up Teddy, in exchange for $1 million. In addition, he asks Franklin to get new identities for Ziamara and the kids, before he delivers Teddy. On the other hand, a drunken Jerome, gets in an argument with Louis, as he wants to quit the drug business. Louis, being upset with him, goes to the ranch alone. And there she is kidnapped by Kane's men. Kane, plans to torture Louis, and wants her to give up Buckley, as he was the one who shot him. Louis, seeing Franklin there, agrees to help him to get to Teddy. If he can get her out of there. Franklin, getting out of there, asks Leon to call Jerome, and as Jerome reaches them, Franklin informs him, where Louis is being kept, and he joins forces with him to get her out. Jerome, pages his most trusted men to join him, but Buckley being high, was not able to respond. Jerome, and Franklin, along with others, attack Kane's compound, and they get into a gunfight with his men. As Kane is cornered by them, he puts a gun to Louis's head, and tries to bargain for his life. But Jerome rejects his offer, and they get into a shootout, where they both kill each other. With Jerome gone, Louis is quite broken, and she asks Scully, on how he has dealt with his grief after losing his family. Scully lets her know, that he is still grieving, but he believes, their spirits are with him, and would not want him to do anything reckless. While Teddy, gets a visit from Julia, and on learning of his conflict with Franklin, she wants him to return the money, but he refuses to do so. Julia tells him, that he has already destroyed his life once, but she won't let it happen again, and he either fixes it, or she will expose him to the world. Teddy, in order to get to Franklin, calls Louis, and wants her to help him capture Franklin, reminding her, that she owes him. Louis agrees to help him out, after getting over with Jerome's funeral. While Reuben, after being threatened by Teddy, was on the edge, he visits Gustavo at his home, and orders him to take a shipment and stash it in Teddy's warehouse, so that he could get him arrested. He also threatens Ziamara in order to push Gustavo, to get the needful done. Gustavo, knowing that Ziamara and the kids, will never be safe with him, knows, that they will have to leave without him. And he goes to Franklin to get their new identities. He meets with Franklin at Jerome's funeral, and they finalize a plan. Gustavo, also informs him about the DEA, and that they have been keeping tabs on Teddy's dealing with Louis, and they will come after her. But Franklin decides to keep this information with himself for now. While Sissy, gives Wanda, the control of Alton's shelter, as she felt tired of running things. Louis, on seeing Buckley at the funeral, asks him, if Jerome paged him when he went after Kane, but Buckley tells her, that he never got any message. Franklin, reminds Louis of her promise, to help him get to Teddy. She tells him, that she remembers it, and will do it not because of him, but because she wants to get out, from under Teddy's thumb. Havemeyer, tells Teddy, that he will be reinstated in the CIA, after he transfers Franklin's money. But Teddy losing his father, is no longer sure if he wants that. Parissa, also found a ring in Teddy's belongings, and Teddy asks her to marry him, as he plans to take the money and leave with her, after he is done with Franklin. Teddy gets a call from Louis, and she informs him, that she is ready to deliver Franklin to him. On the other hand, Gustavo tells Agent Tony, that he will be going to get a shipment for Teddy. Tony lets him know, that he doesn't want any goof-ups this time, thus, he will be accompanied by one of his agents, as he goes for the pickup. 
Before leaving, Gustavo says his goodbye to Ziamara and the kids, and tells her to leave once he is gone, and gives her a number to drop a message when they are safe, letting her know, that this way, no one will ever be able to trace them. And as Gustavo leaves, we see, that Ruben was keeping an eye on him. Gustavo, is able to collect the shipment, but the agent with him, was feeling something off about him, and as they return back, she shares her concern with Tony. Tony asks her to check on his family, fearing of being double-crossed. As Tony finds out, that his family is gone, he knows that Gustavo was setting him up. Thus he arrests him. Ruben, seeing Gustavo being arrested, rams the DEA, and rescues Gustavo. On the other hand, Teddy, asks Louis to drop Franklin off, and Louis, roughs him up before dropping, in order to keep up appearance. Teddy, takes him to the warehouse, and suspends him with a wire around his neck. He tells Franklin, that he will kill him in the most humane way. But before he could inject him, Ruben reaches there, with Gustavo at gunpoint. He makes Gustavo tie up Teddy. Gustavo, seeing an opportunity, knocks down Ruben. And then he frees Franklin. Franklin, with help from Gustavo, brings Ruben and Teddy to his safe house. He then informs Louis, that the DEA has been watching her, and will be coming after her. Before Louis could plan anything, she is raided, but she manages to sneak out. Louis calls Buckley for help, and he agrees to help her get out of the city. Louis, suspecting that he lied to her, about getting a message from Jerome, forces him to give her his pager, and as she learns that he indeed received a message from Jerome, she takes his car and leaves him behind. Franklin, lets Teddy know, that he wants his money back, and he is till morning to decide on what he is going to do. Sissy and Leon reach there, in order to keep an eye on Teddy, as Franklin promised Gustavo to help him get out of the country. Franklin flies Gustavo to Mexico, and assures him, that he need not worry about Teddy, as he won't walk away. At the warehouse, Teddy pleads to Sissy, to allow him to go, and claim that he never killed Alton, but got him arrested, and he can take her to him. While Reuben also wants Sissy to cut him loose, telling her, that if she doesn't, his superiors will leak recordings that they have of Franklin's illegal dealings. Franklin returns back, but Teddy, refuses to give Franklin access to his bank accounts, and Franklin starts to play Russian roulette with him. Seeing him lose his grip, Sissy and Leon, want him to give up Teddy to Reuben, and leave the country. But Franklin lets them know, that he is not going to give up, until he gets his money. Veronique, also reaches there, and informs Franklin, that they are soon going to lose one of their properties without the money. And she suggests to Franklin, to burn Teddy with hot oil, in order to extract the information from him. Franklin, begins to torture Teddy. But Teddy, knowing that the money is the only leverage, he is over him refuses to give it up. As they get talking, Franklin tells him, that he considered him to be a friend, and hoped that they will enjoy barbecues together. While Teddy, lets him know, that he took the money as he felt hurt, since Franklin stopped doing business with him. They later come to an understanding, of splitting the money 50-50. Teddy gives him his account number, and tells him, that once he is out, he will make a call to transfer the money, and for now, he can have half of the money moved to an escrow account. Franklin, agrees to his terms, and calls Havemeyer, in order to meet for an exchange, where he will give up Teddy, as well as the KGB asset to him. Sissy, getting to know about Franklin's deal, is quite upset with him, as he is only obsessed with money, while she wanted to avenge her husband. Sissy, tries to convince Franklin not to do so, but Franklin seems fixated on the money. Sissy, then lets him know, that if he wants to do it, then she will accompany him, but after it is done, they will never speak again, and Franklin agrees to it. Havemeyer, meets them for the exchange at a payphone. Teddy, dials the bank in order to authenticate the transfer, but before he could, Sissy asks him, in which prison he sent her husband, and Teddy lets her know, that he lied to her, and that he indeed killed her husband. And before Teddy could authenticate the transfer, Sissy shoots and kills him. Sissy, surrenders to the police, while Franklin, gets away from there. Franklin later gives Reuben to Havemeyer, in order to keep the CIA off his back. At the trial, Sissy, confesses to killing Teddy, and is given a life sentence. As Franklin visits her, and asks why she killed Teddy, she refuses to speak to him. While Wanda, not being able to take everything that was happening, decides to return back to Ghana. Franklin, asks Leon for a loan, but Leon, believing that Sissy killed Teddy, in order to keep Franklin away from money, refuses to help him out, despite Franklin threatening him. Leon, 
later visits Sissy, and she tells him. That Franklin is lost, but he is one of her greatest surprises, and she advises him to follow Wanda. While Veronique, knowing that they don't have money to pay for the downtown property, tries to find the value of their stake, behind Franklin's back. As Franklin gets to know this, he gets quite upset. He tells Veronique that in order to meet their expenses, he sold his South Central properties, to Sissy's old boss. Veronique, was not thrilled by this decision, as he took it without consulting with her, but hearing this, Franklin looses it, and he chokes her, and tells her, that she should never do anything behind his back again. Veronique, realizing what Franklin has become, leaves him, and runs away with his remaining money. As Franklin realizes this, he visits Sissy again, and asks her to sign over the house to him, so that he could sell it, in order to stay afloat, but Sissy refuses to speak to him. Franklin has a meltdown, and he blames her for everything, and he tells her, that it would have been good if Teddy could have killed her. Few months later, Top Notch gives Franklin the location of Peaches's house. As Franklin confronts Peaches, he tells him, that the money he stole is in a safe, but as he tries to shoot him, Franklin was able to draw first, and he kills Peaches. He hides Peaches' body, and calls a locksmith to get the safe open. As he begins to open the safe, they get interrupted by one of Peaches' friends, and Franklin kills him. As he finally gets the safe open, he finds, that almost all of the money is gone. He lets the locksmith have the remainder of the money, and allows him to leave, but then changes his mind, and kills him. Two years later, we get to see the DEA agent Tony, hunting for Louis, and he almost caught her, working at a farm. While Gustavo, works as a wrestling teacher, and he gets a message on the number he gave to Ziamara, who lets him know, that they are safe, and invites him to see his family in North Carolina. One more year later, we get to see Leon, returning back to his town, in order to start a free legal clinic. He goes to Franklin's house, which is now in ruins, and he finds Franklin living there, who is now an alcoholic, and has lost everything. Leon, offers to give Franklin a job at the clinic, but Franklin turns him down. As they return back to the house, they find, that the LAPD, is about to seize his house, for unpaid property tax. Leon, offer to help Franklin, but Franklin rejects Leon's offer, and tells him, that with the house gone, he is now free from all of it. As the season ends, he tells Leon, that he is his best friend, and that he is proud of him. And we see Franklin walking away from Leon, who has tears in his eyes. And the series concludes on the same street where it began. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please subscribe.